So here's an interesting way in Articulate Storyline to create an assessment where you can display your results in a really customized way. So rather than show just a pass or fail message, you can show a very specific message based on the learner's score. And that's what we see right here on this slide. The learner um, scored within a certain bracket and that resulted in you know, the result slide showing this particular outcome with a very specific message. So what I've got here in this course is just a series of multiple choice questions. There are just four of them in this example. And they all have the same answer choices, never, sometimes, and always. And I set these up to be scored by answer. So if we click on this Edit Multiple Choice button here, you can see in the question editor that I've set my scoring to be by choice. And I've customized the number of points here based on which answer the learner picks. So they're going to earn either zero points, two points, or four points. Now in this assessment, I decided that I wanted to show one of three different results on my result slide at the end, depending on what the learner scores. So what I did is um, when I inserted my result slide, I opted to um, insert the blank style of result slide because I really wanted to customize the way this slide looks. And you can do the same by going to insert and then choose new slide, select the quizzing tab, and then choose result slide up here at the top. And then you can use this blank layout. That's what I did. And then you can insert down here. And then once you insert it, you can add whatever you want. I added some text boxes here, you know, some shapes and kind of created this design here and so on to make this look the way that I wanted. But here's the cool thing. I then created a separate slide layer for each scoring bracket that needed its own message. So in my case, I wanted to display um, this message. If the learner scores you know, fewer than eight points, I wanted to show what's on this screen right here. If they score eight to 12 points, I'm gonna show a different message, which is what we see here. And then if they score more than 12 points, they're gonna see this message right here. And to create these slide layers that you see here in the lower right, all I did was click on this new layer button, and then um, that'll create a layer with a default name. And you can, of course, double click to name it whatever you want. And I like to rename mine like that just so that I can keep things straight in my head. And then you can get to work, you know, adding whatever content that you want to appear on each layer. And if we turn up the visibility here of the base layer, um, you can see that each of these slide layers really doesn't contain much more information than the base layer, right? It's just got uh, basically this short message. Um, it shows the number of points. That's what this is right here. And then this little icon representing the learner's result, right? And the points that we see here, um, this is uh, just a reference to a variable. Um, and the variable is actually something Storyline creates for me when I added the result slide. I just inserted the reference here. And here's how you do it. Let me just erase this and you can see how it works. You just put your cursor in a text box like this and then go up to the Insert tab and then choose Reference. And this is going to list all the variables that are in use in your course. And in this course, they happen to be all automatically created variables that Storyline made for me when I added my result slide. And the one that I'm going to use is this one called results.scorepoints. That's basically, you know, the point tally that the learner has earned. We'll just go ahead and click OK, and then that's going to insert the placeholder. And this will get replaced, of course, with the actual value when the learner views the course. And I did the same thing um, for each of the layers. So if we go to these other layers, you'll see the same data. The only reason it's on all three layers is, oops, it wasn't on that layer, was it? I guess I better insert it there, too. The, the reason I'm inserting it on all of my layers is because I wanted to use a different color for each just so that it would match. Now, how do we make the right layer appear on the result slide? Well, that's really easy with triggers. So what I've got here on the base layer is um, a series of three triggers. And this is what tells Storyline which layer to show. So let me open up one of these just so that you can see an example. So what we're saying is to show the layer called, in this case, the layer called low risk, when the timeline of the result slide starts, but only on this condition. We only want that layer to show up if the point tally is greater than or equal to 12. So this is where you tell Storyline you know, those um, brackets. And I did the same for the other two triggers. So now if we preview this, let's just say we're going to get all the answers, you know, the top scoring brackets. So I'm going to say always on every question, and then we get this customized result at the end. So that's how you can customize the result slide based on scoring brackets in Articulate Storyline.